Hi there, I'm Peter Millard, and this is 10 Minute Workshop, where 10 minutes in the workshop is never enough. In the workshop this week, well, we're continuing with my clumsy attempts at spraying, and they're coming up next. So by now, we're actually six or seven, maybe even eight weeks into this job, kind of halfway point. Uh, I'm on site, obviously, and I've installed the cabinetry, and I'm starting to paint in this first room. Now, I don't have a huge amount of time to shoot videos uh, of, of this actually on site. I think I said at the start of the job, the time pressures are just too great uh, to allow too much. But I did shoot a few little snippets along the way, and we're going to talk you through some of those now. Now, spraying inside an occupied home has been uh, a big concern of mine all along, and I've become extremely well acquainted with tape and drape and statically charged dust sheet and sensitive masking tapes. So the first job uh, to do was the ceiling of this room. It's seven by four meters with decorative cornice plaster work all around and a big ceiling rose in the center. Huge chandelier which took quite a lot of covering up and of course the clients have grouped all the possessions from the room into the center so access was really difficult for this. Um, this was the first time I'd used the Graco outside of the workshop, so I took it very slow and steady, especially all around the decorative plaster work uh, and the hard to reach center ceiling rows. Uh, I did the whole thing in 15 minutes and the finish was absolutely flawless. One of the big benefits of the airless system is that the gun will spray at any angle, even upside down. So getting into all those nooks and crannies of the decorative plaster cornice was really easy. So with the ceiling dry, next up were the walls and woodwork and the clients had chosen a Benjamin Moore deep green gloss for this finish. So with the ceiling all masked off this time, I started spraying the minty green tinted primer undercoat. And just to show you how this went, this is me painting a door, a four panel door in real time. I've had to step away in the middle of this to clear a blockage, so there's an edit in there. But this is actual real time, this is how long it took. Now even if you're not a painter and decorator, you can see the appeal of the speed of this system. Even the green gloss didn't cause me too many problems. And we're continuing back here with a full story in the workshop where I'm painting some doors for the cabinets that I made. So here we are, we've turned the workshop into a bit of a spray room here. Uh, still playing with spraying, nowhere near getting it quite right yet. But it's not bad, uh, I'm using Benjamin Moore. This is actually on a job and I'm using Benjamin Moore Advanced Gloss Paint. You get a really nice, really nice finish on it. Um, but it is still very slightly orange peely. So what I've done is I've matted uh, one of the other doors right back 
with uh, P500, then P1000, then P2000 Abralon, this uh, sort of thin foam backed Abronet uh, abrasive, Abralon because it's got foam on it. Uh, I'm going to give that another coat uh, with the little Graco Ultramax airless sprayer and we'll see how that looks uh, in the morning. Uh, the, the downside of this Benjamin Moore paints is it's a 16 hour, 16 hour recoat time um, and then it takes a while to really firm up. This was done on uh, Thursday night so it was only three four days. Uh, uh, it's you know good and good and solid and firm to the touch and not fingerprinting or marking because it's soft but it is uh, yeah it is quite a long, a long drying time but we'll uh, we'll give it a shot with another coat of uh, a coat of paint and see how that goes. So one of the benefits of this little Graco Ultramax is that it's relatively easy and straightforward compared to other paint sprayers to do a colour change. These are called flex liners. I'll talk about the, the Graco a bit more in another, uh, in another video. But basically you're going to have your paint ready mixed in one of the flex liners. Drop it in the cup. Pop the lid on, and you're pretty much good to go. All that's needed with these is you squeeze the air out because it's an airless sprayer, so you tip the little flexible cup away from you slightly. You squeeze the air out, I don't know if you can see in there. The air stops going, you get a little bead of paint coming through. And then you flip the cap down, prime it, and now we should be ready to spray. First things first, face mask on. Then I'm going to get you out of the way because I don't want you getting sprayed. Overspray isn't actually too bad when you're just doing one small piece like this. Uh, and it goes without saying, obviously you shouldn't really be doing stuff around this. This should be off in a separate drying rack somewhere, but it's just one panel on the door back. And we'll see how that dries, it's not looking too bad. Uh, this paint takes about 16 hours to dry, so uh, it has plenty of time for, to, to flatten down and to settle down. But uh, So far, that's it. Uh, you know, the flex liner, the paint can stay in the little flex liner cup. Uh, all I've got to do now uh, is clean out the gun, uh, and that's just a question of running water through it uh, until it runs relatively clear. So uh, that's it uh, so far.
Next. And that's the story of the green room, still staggering amounts of overspray, to be honest. But with the room sealed off, it's just a question of getting everything sprayed and getting out of there and letting it settle. Uh, that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found it interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.